Now we're going to talk a little bit more about Helsinki as a study destination and Arkadas campus. We'll also touch upon Finnish weather and culture. But before that, I have the pleasure of introducing you to one of our students. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you, Sandra. Would you like to introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about who you are? Yes, I'd be happy to. So I study mechanical and sustainable engineering program at Arcada. I'm originally from the Philippines and I moved to Finland about a few years ago. I chose to, I chose to study at Arcada because as it is an international university of applied sciences, I get to meet a lot of people from diverse backgrounds with which I learn unique insights from. Student well-being is greatly prioritized, very much of an importance in my case, and I have received loads and loads of guidance from my professors and our goddess staff on my study life. The great location and connections also makes it easy for me to go anywhere in Helsinki, also the neighboring um, cities. And not to mention, I greatly appreciate their prioritization on sustainability. As with this um, theme, I'm currently working on my thesis on biofuels with Nesta right now, and uh, I wouldn't have gotten this opportunity to work with such a big company if it weren't for my studies at Arcada. That's so lovely to hear, Stephanie. Thank you for sharing all of that. You have joined us today to share your experiences of studying in Helsinki and at Arcada, and I'm really happy about that. But uh, first, Stephanie, if someone's interested in studying in and knowing more about Finland, what would you tell them about this country? Okay, well, for starters, uh, Finland has about a population of 5.5 million. Um, the capital is Helsinki, which is located on the south. And the currency used here is Euro, which is uh, common in most uh, European countries. Um, it's There's also two official languages, Finnish and Swedish. Finnish, which is broken by about 92% of the population and Swedish about 6% of the population. But uh, it is also good to know that uh, despite this, Finnish people, Finns, are very proficient in English. So I don't think you'd have a problem with studying here and going about. And what about the location of Arcada? Yes, so Arcada is located in Helsinki in the south, where you can see the Arcada symbol. Uh, as I already mentioned, Finland has two official languages, Finnish and Swedish, but in Arcada, we offer tuition in uh, Swedish and English. And as you can see in the picture, Finland is one of the Nordic countries which has border borders to um, Sweden and Norway. On the, in the north. And thanks to the Swedish language, Arcada can also work as a bridge to the Nordic countries. We'll talk more specifically about Arcada soon, but first I'd love to hear your thoughts on Helsinki. How would you describe the capital? Yes, uh, well, firstly, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that the UN's uh, World Happiness Report has named Finland as the happiest country in the world for several several years in a row now. Uh, well, it's quite subjective, the topic of happiness, but for starters, Finland is one of the most equal and least corrupt countries in the world. It's also very safe and clean, and that goes for the capital Helsinki too, which has beautiful nature, interesting architecture and museums, nice restaurants, cafes, and a lot of different events and very friendly people. The transport system is also really well functioning, so it's not it's not so much of a trouble to go anywhere basically in the city and 
it's very convenient to bike here. What's your favorite place in Helsinki then, if I can ask? Favorite place I would say would have to be Vanhan Kaupunginkoski. It's a picturesque riverside nature reserve with waterfalls. It's a quite popular place to go on picnics, walks, and bird watching if you're into that. And as a bonus, Arcade is actually quite pretty close to that place as well. So you could expect that um, Helsinki is a mixture of um, the city and the nature. That. Uh, Helsinki has quite a lot of university students, around 70,000, uh, which makes around 10% of the city's population in total. What can a student expect to spend per month here? Well, um, according to official numbers, monthly living costs for a student, which include food, rent, transportation, are on average 700 to 1,000 euros a month. But many international students actually say that they spend less than that. Personally, I spend around 900 euros a month. What kind of services are offered to students specifically? Well, firstly, there's a great student healthcare system operated by the Finnish Student Healthcare Service, FSHS. They offer general mental and oral health services and students only pay quite a small fee per semester for to avail that access. Um, there's also quite a good range of uh, student apartments on Arcadis campus. There you'll find my stranden. Hawas is the biggest student accommodation provider, which also has accommodation close to campus and actually quite, I actually live quite close to campus and I'm living in a Hawas apartment right now. And there's also different kinds of uh, student discounts. You can eat student lunch just for a few euros. There's a generous discount on public transport for students. And some cafes even have their own student discounts and many more. Arcada is located in Arabian Ranta, which is about 20 minutes by public transport from the Helsinki city center. How would you describe our campus? Well, Arcada is a rather small university of applied sciences with an all-in-one campus, which makes the atmosphere quite warm and friendly and much more intimate, in my opinion. It's very international with a lot of students from different countries, as I mentioned before. The main building is very modern with its own lunch cafeteria, several learning and simulation environments, and different spaces to do schoolwork and group projects. I have, for instance, really appreciated the hands-on studies that we have had in our production lab ever since the uh, second year of my studies. There's also the students' own building in the core house where students can play pool, board games, or just chill with your friend, with their friends. At the core house, the student union ask arranges live bands, coconuts, sitzes, which are uh, typical Finnish student dinner parties with a lot, lot of singing, um, movie nights, dance courses, and screenings for the Ice Hockey World Championships, which is of great importance here in, um, in Finland. And of course, the Eurovision. And as a bonus, there is also a sauna. And on campus, of course, there is also a gym, a sports hall, and as I mentioned, the Maestrande student apartments to which all students can apply. Many who are interested in Finland ask about the weather. Isn't it very cold? It's a pretty common question. What's the Finnish weather like for you, Stephanie? How is it to live in a country with four such different seasons? Yes, it was a struggle in the beginning. Also coming from a tropical country, the winter can be really cold and dark, but I mean, 
Over the years, I've learned that as long as you wear the right clothes, you'll be fine. Christmas markets and different winter activities can actually be really cozy and fun. And actually, apparently in my favorite place, you can go skiing in the, in the winter. So that's also a great plus. And in general, I appreciate the different seasons because they all have something unique to offer. It is quite hard <laughs> to be boring because it's always changing and there's always the next season to look forward to. Like in the summer months right now, <laughs> you'll get too much of the sun to even ask for winter to come sooner. Sometimes, sometimes, yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, last but not least, this could be a really hard question, but if you had to try to describe Finnish culture and people, does anything particular come to mind that you would like to share based on your own experience? In Finland, students have to take responsibility for their own studies. Students have to adapt to a culture of ind independency, and this can be quite a culture shock to some. But I think it's something that you grow into and you kind of adjust all throughout your studies in Arcada. And it doesn't, but it doesn't mean that you're alone during your studies. You still have your student peers and teachers at Arcada are really helpful and supportive. And I can greatly attest to that. It's also a great preparation for your future working life and really makes you grow as a person and a professional. Also, Finland is very much an egalitarian society, which delights itself in being respectful and interdependent. It might be a quite different society from what you're used to, but for sure by the end of it, you'll find the most helpful and genuine people you'll ever know. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for sharing your experiences from being a student in Helsinki and at Arcada. Do you have any last readings to anyone thinking about applying to Arcada? Yes, uh, for us at Arcada, it is, not it is not only important just to admit any student, but students who really want to make a difference in society. Mechanical and sustainable engineering is for you if you want to make a difference in society by learning how to think innovatively with problems engineering face on a daily basis when it comes to sustainability. Well, hope to see you on campus and uh, enjoy Helsinki and all its greatness. <laughs>